sparkler tutorial today we're gonna make a wonderful sparkler it's like this one and yeah wonderful heads up there are two versions of this wonderful video the one you're currently watching which is around one minute plus minus where i just show everything kinder and don't really explain everything and there will be second one where i go more more in detail in why i'm doing anything and, and how i'm doing that so uh yeah we're gonna make this one today first thing create a wonderful new document delete the cube and add a uv sphere go into the front view select half of it and delete it select the bottom part and extrude it down we're going to extrude it let go and scale it down make another cut and move it down select this part and move it down as well so we have this little curve thing now let's make it smooth and maybe give it a subdivision make a cut here and move the wonderful cut up maybe a little bit more so we have this wonderful transition between these two and now you're kind of done next we're going to create a wonderful texture for that thing so we're going to wonderfully create a new texture for everything and then we're going to create a second one because we're going to have two different ones select the bottom part and assign it to the second one go into the shader editor and give the bottom one a little darker you know blackish color also maybe switch so yeah also we're gonna have to wonderfully make another cut here so we can move this wonderful up so we have now the bottom part where you actually grab that for the top part we're gonna first add a wonderful bump and connect it we need a wonderful noise texture which you connect and we wonderfully and add a mapping node we don't need the mapping now we're gonna just use, use the object we're gonna use this one later and as you can see we already have some texture on it but of course it's the wrong color so we're gonna add a wonderful color ramp let's wonderfully bump up the roughness a bit and maybe a little bit the detail let's go down with the scale a bit that's looking kind of decent and it's adjust wonderfully so we don't see everything as well as invert this one so it's wonderfully facing outward so we add only half a texture now we're gonna make the wonderful color of this thing for that we need the color ramp which we're gonna plug in this one we're gonna make wonderfully black and this one wonderful gray i could have switched it but uh, it's fine so we have this wonderful color that the sparkler has so it's already looking kind of decent but uh we need a little bit more because we want to animate it later so we're going to add a wonderful gradient texture so you're going to separate the stuff going to plug it in put it on easing connect the mapping node and rotate it by 90 degree now if we move the color and we can see we have wonderful transition over it so we can wonderfully fake the burning part you're gonna leave this one because we come back later now let's add another uv sphere scale it inward so you cannot be seen let's enable us because we're gonna transform this one we're gonna select some points here and we're just gonna enable push editing and just and just wonderfully put them all a little bit different so we're gonna we're gonna have later on different uh sparks variations that are coming flying out from the different stuff here so this look good it doesn't matter how it looks just like has to be different also make it smooth because i like it smooth perfect now we have the wonderful emitter which you're gonna of course rotate so we have always a different set of sparks go to the timeline press i make a key for everything move it to the end and rotate it a bunch another key and we can see now it is wonderfully spinning maybe it's not fast enough so let's make it uh five thousands we're gonna wonderfully take a look later on but yeah next up we're gonna wonderfully create the sparks first up let's make a wonderful particle system you can see now we have some emitters coming out we want to change that a little bit first we're gonna need a bunch more first we're gonna need a bunch more reduce the lifetime to one reduce the normal velocity time get will be increased as well we're gonna enable rotation and the wonderful gravity will be disabled when you play this now we can see nothing really is happening so we can show currently we can fit this one but of course we want to change it so we have a wonderful glowing stuff so we're gonna add another uv sphere we're gonna wonderfully put it to the sidelines and make it smooth we're gonna use this one as the emitter so on the render we're gonna use a wonderful object we're gonna use sphere number two and this is very too small so we bump up the scale so it fits perfectly so there we go we now have some uh, growing stuff around thing and let's make it a little bit more bigger so we have a nearly complete set here so we have just a couple of place where it doesn't have anything i'm also realizing we will be way over a minute but of course the thing is not really glowing so we're gonna first make some changes first we're gonna enable bloom make the threshold hole uh, bigger wonderfully make it an orange color pump up the intensity and let's give this one a wonderful texture as well we're going to create new we're going to delete this one add an emission 
going to connect this to the surface, pump off the string so it's glowing as hell. And if you know players one, we can see that we have this wonderful glowing thing. Maybe it's a little bit too bright, so we can just dim it down a bit. There we go. Perfect. This will be the wonderful outline. Maybe this one's a little bit too big though. Maybe maybe it's a bit so we're going to reduce them. We're going to reduce how many there are and we're just going to make them a little bigger. You just have to play around with it. So now we're going to make another one. Disable this one. We don't want to see it. Create an icosphere. We don't need subdivisions. Select the bottom face and just move it out. Merge them with the center. Scale them so it's up and down because I like it this way. Create more angles and make more. There we go. We have now thingy. And now we're going to make more of them. There we go. We have now a bunch more. Now make one final one. Exit outwards. And delete the rest. Wonderfully make this sharp at the bottom. And duplicate it. Make it a little bit smaller. Duplicate. Make it a little look bigger. There we go. Now we have wonderful sparks. Very important. The wonderful origin has to be at the bottom at the long part. So we're going to wonderful put it there. Set origin to 3D cursor. There you go, it's not the bottom. Make this for everybody. These, except these ones, it will always be the one that is not pointy because they will be flying outwards and this. Now give everybody the wonderful shining one. Shiny, shiny. There we go, we have a bunch of shining stuff. Now we wonderfully make a group for them because that's what makes the stuff easier. Put them in here. So if we go back to a wonderful second particle system, this kernel looks like this, which we don't want. So we're going to fully Go to render, select collection, and use the collection we made with the sparks. So it looks like this now. But of course, it's the wrong direction. So we're going to use enable rotation. And you can see now it is now falling in the right direction with wonderfully the sparks going down. Of course, they're still falling, so we're going to make the gravity zero. So they actually fly outwards. You can see now they're going out. If you don't have something like this, you should maybe uh, try to rotate them by 90 degree or apply the rotation that sometimes can help. I'm not so sure how this part works uh, about the rotation stuff uh, because it's particle systems that sometimes wants to uh, do, but you know. You can see now it's flying all around. Going outwards, you can see they're all pretty small, so we're gonna make them a little bigger. So we're going to render, we can see the scale, we're gonna apply them so we can make it a little bigger. So there we go, it's now looking a little bit bigger. That's looking already pretty good. You also have you have to watch out that these are pretty thin lines. There we go. So it's looking like that. Now let's increase the numbers. Maybe not that much. Make the end to the end of your animation. Make the lifetime less. Make it also random. There's also maybe a little bit too much. Ah, you can change later on still. So change the velocity so they are faster. Make the tank also higher. Random to now let's wonderfully increase the normal so it goes faster. As you can see, it's going faster and faster. So the more you want, you can go and make it wonderfully faster. You can see it's going faster and this time the, the lifetime is too much. So we're gonna reduce it to only five. So they don't fly too far. So let's maybe uh, enable this thing, which is actually not inside. <laughs> okay. Oop, there we go. So here we go, uh, we can see it's not a little bit too small. So we also have to adjust this, so yeah. And that kinda is it, of course. Uh, you can change it around um, so it goes and looks better. Um, in this case, we can see here, in my case here, we have a little, little bit less here, and this is my wonderful dummy file I made. So we wonderfully animate this now, so we have this wonderful gradient. So first, of course, we're gonna take a wonderful uh, sphere. We already have a wonderful hotkeys here, so we're just gonna go to the end, and we're just gonna wonderfully, wonderfully go to one here. We're gonna make a wonderful keyframe for the location and the rotation. Um, and with that, we go now down here. And we're gonna wonderfully move the z axis uh, down to the bottom. Make a wonderful keyframe with I as well here. Let's like change everything, and we can see now it's moving wonderfully down very slowly. Now let's wonderfully disable that. We're gonna wonderfully use this thing as well. We're gonna wonderfully animate um, these things here as well. So we're gonna make a wonderful keyframe for number one and number two. Then we're gonna wonderfully change it so that we need another time frame. So that um, currently made one at 75. That's not something we want. We go to the end and then we're going to change it so we can have uh, 
it burned to complete destruction. You're gonna make a keyframe for this one as well. You're gonna make one here as well, so it's completely black. And there we go. Meaning we now have it that's it's slowly going down. But of course, you have to wonderfully uh, time it well with your wonderful icosphere that you have. That's the emitter. So we can see it's currently not very really fitting. So we're just gonna change that and say, yep, ah, there we go. Make a keyframe here. And um, it's also a bit too fast here. So we're gonna move it up. Make a keyframe here. So there we go. You can see now it's going down. Of course, you can change it as you want. This is just a demonstration on how you could do it. You can you can make it thicker. You can make more. So for example, you can make more. Also, I already see that we are way above a minute, so we just make it two thousand, so we have it a little bit more. So you can see it's going in, and yeah, down is your sprinkler. I hope you liked it. Till next time.